I saw a trailer for this game about 30 seconds ago. Uh, and that's about as much information as I as I have. So mm -hmm. so really quickly, can you and you just you just kind of fill me in on the story and you know what I need to know coming in. It's an organized crime game yes. uh, set in a fictitious city in Florida called Rock A City in the 1990s. And the one of the objects, one of the many objects of the game, is a turf war to take over Rock A City to be the crime king of Rock A City. You play Travis Baker, which is Mr. Madsen's character, and in your quest to take over the city, you have lots of options, lots of obstacles, and lots of kick-ass. Lots of allies and opponents. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. for, for, for me, it's, it's uh, I'm a slave of, of, of old pictures. I mean, I'm a, a big fan of uh, Bogart and, uh, you know, uh, Good Lord, Robert Mitchum, mm. Lee Marvin. Mm. <laughs> you you're a Lee, big Lee Marvin fan, aren't you? Big Lee Marvin fan. <laughs> that was one of the greatest lines I read. That was the best. <laughs> when I read that script and I read that line, yeah. I wanted you to be in that movie. <laughs> right? Yeah. We're sold to that line, huh? Yeah. 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 I mean, if anybody's going to write that, you know they, they know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I just, uh, there's a lot of talent back in those days that, is not around anymore. Yeah. In a certain way, and uh, it's just different now. But I, I'm 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 stuck in. I grew up watching that stuff, yeah. and uh, this kind of thing, I'm very new to it, mm -hmm. and I didn't know how cool it was. And I got these mugs with me, and <laughs> you know, it was a, it became a privilege to me. Yeah. And it, it it was a kickback to me. It's my chance to. Be one of those boys that that I that I watched growing up in the movies. Yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah. And, um, Damon, you've worked with I think on a five hundred five game before, mm -hmm. right? Uh, how did you feel coming into this? Did you feel you know less pressure, kind of being a veteran of the publisher of the studio in a way? Well, it was yes and no because uh, this is the most immersive I've been on a video game production. Mm -hmm. you know, coming on as a writer of a video game is very different than being a performer. You, know, you have a certain amount of influence as a performer sure. to to mold the characters that you play or whatever, depending on you know what you're taking on. But being a writer on it, it was it was is such a different experience going from uh, what's the character's name to <laughs> now you're seeing it on screen. It's it's been very rewarding, very crazy. And it's just yeah, I, I, it's it's hard to describe what you know, what's so special about it, what's so amazing to be a part of that process. But it was, it's very welcoming, you know, it's, it's so, I'm a, I was a veteran in certain ways, but in other ways, still very new yeah, yeah. to it, coming, like I said, coming from that beginning process to, to where we got to, so. We were just talking about that over there before you come in. I, I was saying that uh, I didn't realize how personal it had taken on, you know, a personal level it had taken on in the making of it. Sure. And uh, in a different way as a motion picture, in a much different way. But it, 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 it's, it's a, a strange experience. It's, it, for me, it's like a brand new world of, wow, okay, Michael, you think you've had some fun before. Well, now, brother, <laughs> you know I'm saying? here's a couple extra clips for your pistol. I mean, <laughs> All the fun uh, without the bumps, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I don't have to worry about going to the hospital anymore. Right? Yeah. You know, I'm breaking my bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I've done a lot of stupid stunts, man, <laughs> without the right stuff on. and uh, Sure. Just because I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I busted myself up pretty bad. But, uh, you know, uh, this is a little go in a sound studio, and you have so much more freedom and so much more creative. It's, I don't know, I, it, I, I can't over explain it at this point, but it's been a good trip, you yeah. know? It's That's a great. good product. Yeah, and uh, I guess the players can do all the stunts in this one, so you yeah. don't have to. The metahumans. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but, sure. Um, uh, can you, are, are any of you playing somebody that will be a player character and 
just in general, I would love to hear about your, your you know, who you're playing in this game. <laughs> Are we playing you? Yes. yes. You're, you're, you're playing yeah, Michael Mann. You, you have the opportunity oh to play multiple uh, characters, but okay. the, the main focus, uh, if you want to play the main turf war of the game, you are Travis Baker. You are Michael Madsen's character. And you interact, Miss um, Basinger's character, Casey, is on your squad. Mr. Rooker's character, Touchdown, is on your squad. Mm -hmm. Mr. Potier's character, Nasara, is on your squad. And then rivals are Mr. Trejo's character, the dragon, mm -hmm. um, as well as Vanilla Ice's character, uh, Iello. Um, and then some others uh, that, you know, uh, that will leave uh, to be revealed. <laughs> uh, and then your big rival is, of course, Chuck Norris, um, and he's the he's the sheriff who's chasing all the crime in town. So uh, you got to come up against him on a regular basis. Everybody's got a cool sounding name, you see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure sheriff is. Norris yeah. is his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, what else are you gonna call that guy? <laughs> no. Too bad Bruce Lee's still not around. Yeah, right. <laughs> we probably could have got him in. Here could have got him in. Yeah. yeah. Isn't Yellow Ice like? Isn't Vanilla Ice playing somebody named Ice basically too? Like yeah. that's Ice in Spanish. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. perfect naming all yeah. around. Yeah. Southern Florida. Yeah. You know, Spanish yeah. name. You know. Yeah. 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 1990s. Yeah. Yep. Incredible. Uh, and just from the trailer I saw, I mean, the voice cast on this game. You know, all of you, and then just Danny Trejo, Michael Rooker. Uh, it's incredible. Had you did you get the chance to work together at this at all, or were you recording lines on your own pretty much? Well, you know, he, he was, it was depending on the on the situation. Uh, we were with Michael for all of his lines, and then what, directing, coaching, yeah. writing, listening, uh, <laughs> mostly listening and laughing. Uh, I was asking a lot about the other actors, of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or what they had said or what they were doing, but at the same time, I worked with a lot of them. In motion pictures already, mm -hmm. I've done stuff with just about every one of them. And we played, and we played samples. And so right, you guys got samples of each other. So that was great. Right. It was more familiar. Right. So I already knew them, mm -hmm. you know. And so I just became enamored by what everybody was bringing to it, uh, voice-wise. And I felt like I was among friends, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, while we have one, you know, one of our A-listers in the studio at a time, and we have 30 plus characters in this game, so all great actors across, but in terms of A-listers, they were of course in their own booth at their own time, but as Damien said, we were able to play them. So Mr. what Mr. Rooker had said, what Miss Basinger had said, her voice acting against what he was about to portray so he could hear, oh, okay, that's how she's doing it. Because obviously it needs to be alive and we need to make it pop, you know, and what, there's no better way than to put a really gifted actor in a situation, give them the information they need, which is the other actor's voice, and let them bounce off of it. Yeah, amazing. And did you write on the game as well? So yeah. you two both yeah, wrote we're, we're, it. We're, yeah, wrote, yeah, and we both play characters in the game as well. Oh, well, that's fun. No, I'm bookended yeah. by major talent here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. Yeah. And it's a rarity, like I was saying. It doesn't happen all the time, pal. You know, these yeah. sort of games, these sort of this much people get together on something like that, it doesn't usually go down that way. How do you feel the workload, or what, you know, what is the experience coming from, because you have such an extensive background in film, like, was it a challenge to step into to video game world and that kind of work? Well, you know, um, I didn't have to shave, which was great. <laughs> and um, I could go in my pajamas, which was cool. Mm -hmm. Neither one is true, I'm just kidding. But, yeah. um, but you could have. Was, there was a, a certain amount of freedom yeah. that it was. And I didn't realize even at the very beginning. When I first heard about it, I remember going, what? They want me to do what? And I, it wasn't until I started doing it that I realized the enormity and the privilege of being in a booth recording like that. And uh, it, it was, uh, for me, it was like a new thing, you know, because American motion pictures can be pretty boring sometimes. Or you can know like in the first 10 minutes that you're in hell. <laughs> and you're gonna go to hell, <laughs> you know. And you know why am I doing this, you know? But then it's too late, and you got you got to finish it. Mm -hmm. But something like this, I mean, uh, I knew early on that it was special, and uh, and now I'm sitting with these guys, and I'm thinking, good lord, it really turned out to be that. Oh, that's great. And you mentioned some, I think, actors that inspired you. But you know, for on the writing side, were there were there movies or things like that that were kind of the inspiration behind the game? Oh yeah, we had everybody's catalog. We were under all, yeah. all, you know, the '90s, just yeah. the, you know, everything about the '90s that we could get our get our eyes and our you know, ears on, and just kind of felt it out. You know, we 
try to it, it, and and putting in enough that you get the '90s feel, but not so much that we get the '90s suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so it was yeah. it was you know on the things we could get, we got them, and we got a surprising amount of things like including talent to come in that were a part of that era that really you know embraced this and, and just. You'll see. Yeah, we <laughs> created these characters for these actors, leveraging Amazing. their filmography in this character so that when you come and you sit down and you play this, if you've seen Mr. Madsen's movies, if you've seen Mr. Glover's movies, you bring all that with you and you sit down and then we have that to play with and we, we lull you in. Oh, this is, this is just, um, this is just um, you know, uh, Danny Glover in the Lethal Weapon movies and then we get to subvert that expectation, you know? So that's, I think, one of the super fun things about it and I think from the acting side, you get to look at this character and go, wow, they're, they're taking all this stuff that Mr. Madsen's done in his career, and we're we're sort of exponentially, you know, blowing it out, you know, and making, you know, using everything he's brought, and then, and then asking him to do more. <laughs> and it's in the '90s, which was a pretty fun time, right? <laughs> Let's face it; if you think back on it, yeah. well, of course, every generation has its problems and its horrors, and the good and the bad and the ugly. But there was a lot of things that went on in the '90s that a lot of people look back on with a lot of uh, a lot of good memories yeah sure it's all coming out now yeah so when they when they approached you with this did they tell you that they had this character in mind based on on you or were they trying to play it cool and uh, they played it cool <laughs> 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 yeah they should, they did for sure yeah but I respected that you know yeah. I mean I I've never been one to uh, pat myself on the back you know I just I'm not like that I never been one to uh, lick my own stamps, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, Why did you say that in the booth? We need that. We need that. <laughs> we'll do it next we time. Need yeah, yeah, we'll get you we have to got to get yeah. that. Yeah. Sequel now. Yeah, let me write that oh, down. Oh, that's it. My own stamps. See how it works. <laughs> there you go. See how this shit happens. That's how this shit happens. Yeah, that'll be in the game. That's in the DLC. It's in the DLC for sure. Sure. I've never been one to lick my own stamps. I mean, we joke, but that's actually how it goes. We got them in the booth yeah. and we we have a script that we worked really hard on but we asked him please Play. please have fun with this <laughs> and that's when it becomes really alive you know when yeah. they start improvising and ad-libbing around it and finding the character with us and we are dying on the floor laughing oh, yeah. or you know or wiping tears from our eyes at, at points or whatever I mean the profound talent that comes in you need it also to be alive you know, and, and you're, you're muting your mic, you're cutting off your camera because you're dying. You're yeah. struggling to continue yeah. work. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, oh, so much yeah. good yeah, stuff. But they gave me the, the freedom to do it, though. You see, yeah. it's one thing to do that, but you're not always allowed to do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, that getting cut off at the knees, or you know, it, it, wait, 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 what did you say? You know, it was. Uh, um, it reminded me a lot of uh, the pictures I enjoyed, like I said earlier. Mm. And it was the, the freedom of it, um, I must absolutely say, without a doubt, it reminds me a lot of Quentin Tarantino in the way that he can put certain emotions into certain things that aren't usually put there. Mm -hmm. And giving the actors the freedom to bring those certain things out that might not necessarily have been on the page. Mm -hmm. You know, not a lot of, you don't get that chance a lot of times, is what I'm trying to say. And I, <laughs> I, uh, I'm impressed by it, and I, I seldom am by anything I've done. So, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's very that's very modest. I feel like <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. You and make a big mistake if you if you start looking in the mirror too much. Sure. <laughs> um, if you start licking your own stamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> did you I always wonder why they haven't made flavored stamps. <laughs> You know, I mean, wouldn't everybody dig that? If yeah. the fucking thing tastes like a banana. Yeah. yeah. Or, or an orange, right? That's going in too, man. It you know, it. <laughs> everybody would think, give me yeah. that fucking thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why are they have to be so nasty with it? It'd make it more fun, I don't know. Yeah. Did you do any, uh... <laughs> I just came up with a great idea. <laughs> yeah, don't steal it. Somebody else is gonna take don't it. Don't steal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't steal it. Yeah, yeah. Everyone in this room gets a percentage. I just, yeah. I just, I just lost a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you do any motion capture for this? Or did the other A little bit, but I mean, these guys, I mean, they. I, I I didn't do a tremendous amount of it, but uh, it, it's some of it's very necessary, of course. Sure. And I've been in enough pictures that you could play with those too. So, yes. I'm hard to double. I know that. Yeah. I've been really hard to double over the years. I've noticed that. Yeah. yeah. 
I've had doubles on pictures where, yeah, no, 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 that's not Michael. Yeah. And you could tell right away it wasn't me. Right. It always bugged me. And so I would, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah. And they'd let me do it. And, and, and I always felt more comfortable with that. I felt it was more honest. Mm. Unless you're going to go down a flight of stairs, you're going to roll <laughs> upside down in a car, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, I, which has happened, you know. <laughs> I've been up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know. You want to light me on what? Yeah, yeah well, what? <laughs> Wait a second, man. Aren't you going to put a helmet on? <laughs> well, no. Right. You know. Oh, uh, your face. Well, I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I think they did a wonderful job of that. I mean, there's a lot of big personalities in this thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, those are faces you've seen over the years and a lot of stuff. And uh, to capture that is not an easy thing, right? I mean, he's like, you know, geniuses in a new world, in a new land, and I'm, just, I'm lucky to be part of it. You guys were all awesome, though. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, yeah we, we really got lucky with yeah. the, the professionalism and the... The, the the willingness to come in and play, you yeah. know, yeah. and to and to build the character with us in the booth, you know that that was yeah. to me one of the most exciting parts it's, it's, about it's it. It's one thing to, to write it and you know to have the ideas of it. It's another thing when you're sitting in front of them and they're like, and they say something, and they know, like lick your own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm stuck on that. But when you know they say, and it just it just puts it takes you down another journey. Yeah. And you know you have more sessions. Yeah. So, so you can expand and you know change things and, and and jigger things to to really fit that new. Expand what you and it's and it's a living, breathing world. Mm -hmm. So you need living, breathing impressions in, in the work that you're doing. So f to get those and to play with them and to come back and then see the the new thing. It's it's it was just, yeah. It was it was a pretty amazing process. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. you're, you're a film guy, right? So uh, we we've taken a lot of care and a lot of investment to put the movie scenes of this game, which are called cutscenes in yeah. video game world, on the same level as the gameplay. You know, uh, oftentimes it's secondary. Uh, it's the gameplay, and then there's some movie scenes, and you may watch or may not. No, we are saying these scenes are as good as the gameplay, and the gameplay is freaking awesome. You know, so we are putting all that talent, all that um, enthusiasm, and all that precision visually, orally, you know, emotionally, hopefully, right there in front of you for the story arcs, for the characters, and everything. There's a new generation of, of kids that are growing up that are big gamers that, that might not necessarily be movie fans. Mm. Yeah. You know, that generation of watching black and white pictures or watching those types of films, they were tremendous in their day and age, but now kids don't have that sort of patience. They don't have that sort of deliverance, but when they got a game thing like this thing, I mean, wow, they, they embrace it. Mm in a bigger, in, in as big a way as did their parents uh, when we were growing up watching motion pictures, yeah. you know. Yeah.